So you can see there are a few things that we'd have to edit within the actual design to get this uh, to render perfectly, but uh, with very little effort, you can see that we created our responsive web page using Export Kit and Adobe XD. Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to create our very first responsive web page using Adobe XD. So these are a couple UI elements that's taken from uh, one of the XD resources. So this is a free template that you can download yourself. I've removed the other artboard so we can simply start from scratch to understand the best way to do this. So we're just going to create our first artboard. Now the size of the artboard is important. You'll note here that this is 1800, uh, but what we want to do is we actually want it to size to the content. So for instance, we're going to use this uh, desktop view. You can see this is neatly organized. Uh, so we have our desktop, our tablet, and our mobile view. So let's simply copy over the desktop. And let's just space it uh, with a little bit of a margin. There we go. Okay, now, from this point, uh, what we want to do is we want to ensure that the content within each of our designs is the exact same, and this is very important. This is a rule of CSS. So you'll note here that we have repeat grids, and we have a new and a big new. If we go into our tablet, we have new and big new, and if we go into our mobile, we have new and big new. So this is very important that the content is the exact same. Now I didn't go in depth to verify and you should when you're actually creating this, but this is just quickly uh, so we can demonstrate how to actually organize and create the screen. So now that we have our desktop, what we want to do is take our tablet, simply place it uh, in reference to the desktop. So you want the corners to, to start at zero, zero for each. Now, uh, an important thing with screens, and this is going to be important when we're actually adding the screen tags, is that we want our largest screen to be on top. So for instance, we know the desktop is larger than the tablet, so we want it above the tablet. So the next step is we're going to copy over our mobile. And we're going to do the similar thing of actually aligning it uh, zero, 0, and then we're going to drag our mobile to the bottom because it is the smallest view. Now, once we have each of these and we've verified that the content is the exact same within each, what's going to happen now is that we're going to have to add our actual CSS screen tags. So to do this, we're simply going to uh, type CSS screen and we're going to assign a screen size. Now, an important feature for CSS screens is that you must have a default screen. The default screen will act as the base measurement uh, for your actual CSS screen. So this will be uh, the default view that's given. So our next screen, if we look at our tablet, our tablet is 608. So let's target 600. And if we look at our mobile, our mobile is 327. So let's target 320. Now, in essence, this is all you need to create your responsive design. Uh, there will be an error in the output, and I'll explain it uh, before I actually preview it for you. The problem is because we have multiple artboards, and you'll see our other artboard here, the default will act as the base size. So because this artboard is, let's actually take a look at it. This artboard is 2928. That will be the default size that it will be expecting to render the responsive page. Now, there is a quick fix that we can do. So what I'm going to do is show you what happens uh, without it first and then show you afterwards. Now, I, before we export, again, another important step with uh, responsive screens is that you must select the canvas. Do not select an, inv an individual page or you might have visual errors in your output. So just ensure that you have the canvas selected. So that's basically no artboard artboards and let's just export export our HTML page so let's save it now we're working with artboard one 
So let's take a look. So you'll see here that what happened is this is our actual tablet view. Now the reason is because our desktop has been limited to 2800 uh, in the actual CSS screen based on our default. So I'm going to show how to fix it. But just to demonstrate, we have our tablet. And if we go down more, we have our mobile. So you'll see quick and easy, we created responsive pages uh, just using Adobe XD. But we're going to fix this issue here where our desktop view is not rendering. So let's go back to XD. Now, there are two ways that you can fix this. One is that you should have standardized artboards. So in essence, we don't want this artboard too huge. We want it to be about the size of the content. So this is in relative speaking 1200, but we're not looking for 1200. Uh, actually, let's just resize it anyways. We're targeting 1100 based on the actual design for the desktop. You can see 1170. So the issue is that our original artboard or our, our very first artboard is 29. So if we were to actually change this to 1100, this would now become the default size, uh, which this would be exported as. Now, another way to fix that, and we can actually just take a look really quick, and then I'll show you the other fix. have the artboard selected. So you'll see now our desktop view is rendered, but let's take a look at the other fix. Assuming we don't want to just shrink an artboard size, another quick fix that we can do is we can simply copy our default view and we're going to add another screen size for our target screen. So we want to target 1100. Now, you're only going to have to do this if you have multiple artboard sizes. So we do recommend that you keep a standard size for your artboards to avoid uh, this extra step. So now that we've targeted 1100, let's just re-export, ensure that we have our canvas selected. And there we go. You'll see quick and easy responsive pages using Export Kit and Adobe XD. We're going to take a look at why it's very important to have the exact same content structure within your layout. Uh, this is prevalent when you have multiple screens that you're targeting, but a rule of CSS is that it needs a base uh, content, so basically properties of a base element, and it will change those properties based on screen queries. So if you don't have the elements in each of your CSS screens, you're going to end up with the visual errors. So let's just go ahead and create a new artboard just to demonstrate this. Now see right here, this artboard is targeting already about 1800. So that's a pretty large screen. Now, if we look at the layout that we're actually going to copy, which is that it's our hero uh, design, basically. So this is similar to a Jumbotron. Now we have within our large desktop, you can see here we have a basic structure of next story, author, title, and image. If we look in our desktop, we have a similar structure. So we know already that this will work. This will translate from this design to this. But once we look into our tablet, you'll see that there's something different. Now, our tablet, in essence, uh, the difference that it has is not within the base, but within the actual details. So if we look in next story, you'll see already there's content that's missing. And this is prevalent visually because you can see that it looks very different within the design. So uh, the actual mobile has the most content missing, while the tablet has a few, and this is just basically within uh, the actual next story. So I'm going to render this first just to demonstrate how and what will happen if you don't have uh, the same content. But uh, what I'm also going to do afterwards is show how you can correct this quickly and easily. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we're just going to create our screens. So let's uh, get this over. So this is fairly big, 1800. Let's actually just uh, place it right at the top.
Now, step one is that we want to make this our default desktop view. Now let's copy over our base desktop and we just want to align them in the corner so they're both at zero, zero. Now based on the rules that we just simply discussed before, what we want to do is we want to have our largest screens at the top and going in order down to the smallest. So our hero desktop is targeting 1255. Let's make that 1200. Let's take our tablet. Let's have this target 750. Now again, we want to ensure that the smallest screens are at the bottom. And let's get our mobile. target 350 or 300 and let's move this to the bottom now because we do have a much larger artboard uh, and this is a similar issue that we had previously what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy our default I'm gonna create another screen and let's target 1800 for this Now, the size of my personal screen is below 1800, so the large desktop will not render, but the hero desktop will. Now, to further illustrate the issue that we're going to have if we do not have the same content within our design, uh, what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to move this over to the top corner. And what will happen now is that this text will render in the top right, and this is within the large desktop. Now, because we do have all the elements for this within our uh, smaller desktop, our smaller desktop will render with the view that we expect, which is this visually where it now moves to the bottom corner. Now, within the tablet, we're expecting it to move to the bottom corner also, but you're going to see the error that occurs simply because the elements are not included within this actual design for the tablet. And then we're going to uh, basically go through how to correct this. Well, let's ensure we have no artboard selected. Now you'll see that we do have our regular desktop view. Now again, my screen size is not uh, large enough to display the 1800 view. And we have this information rendered where we're expecting. Now th this uh, cutoff with the text is a simple fix to add a P tag, but uh, I've demonstrated that in a different video. So if we now move uh, slightly down, you'll see that now this text is not positioned where it's supposed to be. And this is simply because we do not have the correct information uh, within each of the views and similar with our mobile view again. Uh, so one of the best and quickest and fastest way to fix this is we simply need to include the content uh, within each of the screens. So within our hero tablet, uh, let's actually, let's copy this over. Now we're going to want to move this so it's in line with the content and the next important thing that we're going to want to do is simply hide it. Now once we hide it, what this will do is prevent it from being rendered in the output. So if we take a look uh, at our content here, let's actually slide this over.
So you'll see here we do have it, but it's hidden. And let's export and test. So you'll note now that our content is correctly placed with our tablet view. Now, the reason why this text is spanned in this manner is because we didn't include a P tag. And the other issue is that we likely have to create a paragraph just to increase the text size. Uh, P tag will correct this, or you can actually just create a paragraph text and increase the width, and that'll be fine for it. Um, Applying what we learned, let's go ahead and let's convert this design into a responsive page. So the very first thing we want to do uh, is simply we want to just group this. And let's give this a name. So let's call this our desktop and desktop view. So the next step that we want to do now, now that we have our desktop view, and we're going to create a smaller one. So our main view is 1290. Uh, let's create something that's relatively speaking uh, 700. So this will be our tablet. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hide our main desktop. And this is because we're going to modify our tablet. What did we call it? 700. So let's go ahead and let's just resize this. Now you'll see that XD will do a great job at resizing the content, but there are some things that we'll need to modify. So let's just change this uh, very quickly. And let's see how it works. So you'll see here that there are a couple things that uh, we will need to change. So let's just go ahead and start working with that right now. So first off, let's shift this down a bit. So now that we have our design for our individual screens for our desktop and our tablet and uh, our mobile, what we can simply do now is we can export this and we'll take a look at the actual output results. So you'll see here that we have our full desktop view. Looks pretty nice. A couple of things we could change, could have edited this, uh, this was simply because of a resize, not a big deal. And let's check our tablet. So this is our tablet view. Now you can see that a couple of things uh, seem to be off and this is likely because some elements are uh, slightly different. But let's look at our mobile. This is our mobile view. So you can see there are a few things that we'd have to edit within the actual design to get this uh, to render perfectly. But uh, with very little effort, you can see that we created our responsive web page using Export Kit and Adobe XD.